But you can't pay rent. You're putting it all on right, art. All right. Well, maybe. What if I just don't feel like getting a job right now? I just want to. Well, that's yeah. just the most childish thing I've ever heard in yeah. my life. Yeah, I, I guess it might be. How are you okay with being essentially a leech on society at that point? I guess I just don't want like a job that I just would find what? boring. I don't want a boring job. Be an adult. What do you mean? That's not a thing. I'm Josh. I am 23. I am based out of Dallas, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Well, thanks for coming down to Austin. So for a living, looks like we are a golf caddy currently. That is correct. You say you bring in a certain amount of money on a monthly basis, like 1200 to 1500 which, first of all, not really enough to live. No, absolutely not. But you worked three days last yeah. month. Yeah. Well, what's going on? Well, I, I get a ludicrous amount of money hourly uh, when I when I do have work. It's a contract job, and if people aren't golfing in February, then I don't necessarily get the work. There are months that are really good, though, so you kind of have to balance it out. What was last month? <laughs> not good. Okay. So what are you doing in the not good? I mean, you've told us specifically that you bring in what, like 12000 bucks a year, something like that? Or like yeah. 15, if every 000? month was like last month, yeah. Yeah, no, it would not be great. It would not be manageable. But in the meantime, I... Yeah, not much else. What is your average monthly income? I'd say on average, if you look at the whole year, it's probably about $3,000. That being said, the statements that I was able to give you from last month and the time I've been a caddy, I've never I've never reached that. It's kind of a new position up You've there. never reached 3000 It's a new position for the past two months during the winter, so I don't really have a way to tell. Well, then how can you say the average is 3000 Based on talking to the other caddies and what they get, based on the averages that I have, based on how getting more loops would be extrapolated in the future. Okay, because it obviously is winter. There's probably less people out there. It's bad. How it's are bad. you compared to the other caddies? I am new, so not a lot of people know me, but I am very good. I am personable, and I am very knowledgeable about golf and the game when it comes to uh, mindset stuff. A lot of people like that. One guy I just went out with recently said that he, I should get into psychology because I was really good at teaching him how to approach shots with confidence. Now, if I'm not mistaken, just from conversations we've had, you took this job yes, as a downgrade, but because it has upward mobility. It's a, it's what is a, the upward mobility in this that you see for yourself? Well, here's the thing. I was working at the cart barn before. The cart barn is very, you know, it's basically a minimum wage job. It makes the equivalent that Whataburger makes for the most part. 14 bucks an hour. 14 bucks an hour. Double minimum wage in Texas, but go but, ahead. Yeah. So uh, as far as, you know, mobility goes there, all the members kind of... They're polite to you, but a lot of them really look down at you. When you get out on a golf course with these really high-profile people, you have the ability to network, and you can then kind of communicate with them at a at a deeper level and build relationships. What are you trying to network? What are you, what are you trying to get to? I don't know yet. I'm at a stage where I don't really know what I want to do in life, and I'm kind of just hitting what I see as fun. And I feel like opening... How are you surviving? Fantastic question. I'm surviving via 0% APR credit cards, and I don't want that debt to snowball. When does the 0% end? Uh, the earliest one is December 2024. The other one is sometime in 2025. December 2024 is going to be here before you know it. it Especially if it, we're yeah. only making uh, $1,200 a month, which is what you claim in our pre-show interview that you're making. Also, $400 is what you brought in the previous month. You're right. It's the colder month. You're new. Sure. But double, triple that. It's you're still not gonna make it. What's your rent? Yeah, my, my rent is twelve hundred a month. How are you yeah. paying that right now? Yeah, right, it's right. Zero percent. Right you're putting it all in zero percent. Yeah, basically, everything goes to rent, and then I have. Does that make sense? Then I want you to network. Sure, network's yeah. cool, but survival is also pretty cool. Building up a massive amount of debt when you're coming from a place where uh, your debt wasn't insane before. You're starting the bad cycle that we so see so many people come on this show and be on the other side in. Yeah, no, I, it's definitely absolutely starting. I, I would 100% agree with that. Uh, then why <laughs> why have you done so, this these last two months so, and so, not gotten like bacon? So here's here's the here's the mental calculation. The mental calculation. The idea is that. When I start to get requests and members start to know me, that's where you really make your money as a caddy. If I was able to start building relationships in the winter months when there's not a lot of people, by the time the spring months came around, I'd get a lot more work and I would be able to pay it off. That being said, didn't necessarily work out that way. I will also say I got my first request last weekend and I'm super hyped about that. First request, how much does that cost? 
a, a request for yeah. to, to get. What are you gonna get? It, it's it's an extra loop. So anywhere between the minimum is like. It's either 120 or 180 based on the job. Average, I would say you get about 200 with the way that you get tipped. And every request okay. is going to be that. And that's extra on top of the cycle that the caddies have. Are you sure your mom's not just supporting you to live? I, I would say that she helps a little bit, but she doesn't help a ton. What? Give us okay. Give us the. That's an interesting mental calculation that you've done because uh, if I do calculations a little bit, let's just see. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Type, typing a lot here. Uh. Huh. Oh, I found out that twelve hundred dollars a month in rent is uh, slightly more than uh, two hundred dollars that we're bringing in from a loop. It's also slightly more than $400 you brought in last month. So mama has to be picking up the bills other than the extra you've been putting on. Mm, the she's... other Now that's now now if she has offered and thinks that's okay. Yeah. But the fact that I had to bring that up and you not fully is the same. Well, yo mama be helping me. Here's here's the thing. It was a responsibility. She's helping with certain things, medical what? expenses, and she's she pays for lift rides so I can get to and from work. Which is so you don't have a car. I don't have a car loans suck. I, people have cars without car loans. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess I'm definitely not super well versed on that. But the other thing is I'm not permanently in Dallas, and and that that's I'm I'm down here to I was I've been down here to visit my girlfriend, and there's no she reason, lives in Austin. No, she lives in Dallas. Uh, okay, where where else are you? New York is where I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna oh. be going to school. Oh the, f where is this kid? No, it's not funny. Where's this? What? Listen, your glasses, buddy. I'll give you a fist bump for that, but don't ruin this already. All right. Where's this caddy job? Uh, not the actual location, but like the city. Okay, something tells me that's a little um, more than a couple hours away from New York City, and we're moving to New York City. Yeah. So this investment you're doing into this job doesn't even matter because by the time you move back to go to school you won't be doing this caddy job anyway you won't have had the opportunity to get up that magical three thousand dollars that doesn't exist and by the way isn't an incredible living it's like 30 uh, uh 36 thousand dollars a year that's not oh, like no it's not that's not yeah. like we're we're going crazy and buying jets or anything so i don't know why that was the number we're super excited about anyway but even if you get to that you have to be there you actually have to dedicate yourself to it but we're going back to New York? Yeah, absolutely. For school? Yes, absolutely. So, th so this doesn't make sense, though, does it not? Well, it might. I'm going to ask you a question. If you're going to apply for a job, what looks better? One month of experience at a high-profile place or three months of experience at a high-profile place? Well, I guess three, but this, high, this question of high-profile place, experience... Of what? What kind of jobs are you applying for well, up in New York? So caddy, caddy is, caddying is a contract job. If I go back up to New York, I want to have a higher chance of getting a job as a caddy. I don't want to have to go work in a cart barn again. That being said, if I... Why do you have to work in... Is this what okay, you go well, to school for? No, it's not what I go to school for. But that's where I would have So experience. it doesn't matter. It doesn't, but I, I, I genuinely like the job of Good. being a caddy. And I like you liking the job. Yeah. I also like you being able to afford to live. So I, there, I love there that are too. there there is the choice when it comes to that. And being twenty three year old, trying to make rent due, having putting everything on a zero percent interest card, having mama taking care of transportation, moving back home in order to pay for school. We don't pick, unfortunately, our dream job that we want. That's so, not that's not what wins. What wins is you actually being able to pay the bills, and you cannot. Mathematically speaking, I, actually speaking, you cannot. I agree, and I think well, that the, yeah. the the struggle is how do I keep this caddy job and in my other spare time that I have because objectively I make a lot for like if th for three days of work. That is a lot more money than something else would be, and I have a lot of free time. I need to be able to leverage this free matter. time. Well, I need leverage to, I need what to, free time? I need to leverage the time to be able to make more money. But you haven't. Exactly, and I it's it's a failing. It's it's a it's a direct shortcoming, and I, I okay. I so agree. it hasn't worked. So we then okay, if something doesn't work, we then try something else. Yeah, but how? So how do we how do we make it work? Like maybe it's not the correct path for you. Maybe you need guaranteed hours on a month on a weekly basis, even if it's lower per hour. If it's giving you more in a monthly result because that just uh, correlates better with your personality, that's okay. This isn't your career. Yeah, you, it's not. I, so it doesn't. I it honestly doesn't. I would rather do a job. I would rather anyone do a job that they like more than a job they don't like. I want you to pay your f rent. Yeah. Graduating college without a massive pile of credit cards that you have to pay off that are at that point accruing interest yeah. is more important 
to me than a couple years of working a job that gives more money because it correlates with your personality a little better of not being able to work outside of the work hours that you're getting. It, yeah. That's what matters to me. How does that not, how is that not what matters to you? I mean, I guess it definitely does matter to me, but I feel like there has to be a way that I can figure out how to supplement contract income without dropping the job and getting a different job and i i haven't figured that out yet like i i I, i'm okay with admitting i need genuine help figuring that out because that that is a path that would work for me that does fit with my personality very well what what is really hard for me is standard nine to five work hours i have really bad adhd which totally not an excuse for anything but it fixes how my changes how my brain works and how i react to certain environments so i love what are you going to school for I'm going to go to school for cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. Great. You might be working a nine to five job. How are you going to survive that if you can't survive it today? From my. And I'm not knocking on yeah. your disorder by any yeah. means. Well, but... I'm, not, I'm not saying you are. I, from So that's a really good question. And from my knowledge and my understanding, a lot of cybersecurity jobs are remote, which inherently makes them flexible. That being said, there's probably going to be a couple of years where I do have to work in an office to build up experience to be trusted. Remote. remote is going down a little bit too. Yeah. Like in a more competitive job market in the tech industry specifically, though, of course, you could do cybersecurity in more than just tech, but tech's going to be a heavy player in that uh, field. Uh, companies are wanting people to work on site more. And if those are the jobs that an entry level person gets access to, you, you might be showing up nine to five for. A bit, and if you're incapable of doing that now, I don't. I, what? What? what yeah. Well, so what help are you seeking? Do, are you on medication? You uh, have. Yeah, I, I have I've behavioral been, help. Yeah, I've been going to therapy for a while. A lot of it hasn't Good. stuck. Some stuff is. It takes a bit. Probably, it's been about ten years, and I've been through things. I've tried four or five different medications. I've had a psychiatrist. I've, as far as that. You know, mental stuff that's documented, and that that yeah. doesn't that doesn't really relate to the accountability of my actions, right? That's like that's there, that's on the side. I need to manage that myself, and I'm I've been doing that for the past ten years, and I'm trying to. That being said, there are certain things that work better for me and work worse for me, and my challenge is figuring out what does and what doesn't. Uh, that nine to fives are very standard. They're also very difficult, and they're they're I, I'm. I'm just desperately trying to find a workaround so I don't find my life miserable. Right now, this caddy thing is a bit of a workaround, and it is affecting me negatively financially. Yeah, which, okay. So not not a, not a great workaround. I mean, yeah. Well, it just it hasn't accomplished a goal in the end. The goal in the end is it needs to be something that you can deal with because of your personality and also pays the bills. If we fail either one of those, then we failed. Well, that that's where I feel. So you're like, giving up one issue for another issue, and that that's yeah. just not achieving anything in the end. If you yeah. can't pay your bills, what happens, man? Oh, We're I, out on the street. I, I mean, that, and that's probably worse on my mental health than anything else. I mean, well, that'll be worth yeah. worse to your mental health <laughs> than anything. <laughs> oh yeah. And you said you quit the job so that you could go here and get upward mobility. What's this upward mobility that you're achieving uh, anyway? Because again, it's not a career path. You're making some connections. I don't even know what the f- those are. Um, so, so so a lot of really like do you do you follow pro golf at all? No. Okay. So if you if you look up a couple of people like they they come out to that club as well as home club. What are they going to do for you? They're not going to do anything for me immediately. A lot of the caddies there have caddied for them. They, some of the caddies there have caddied for. T- Once you get these connections as a caddy, you will start to make more. It's it's a very slow start. But thing. you're only going to be I'm, doing I'm this leaving, job for yes. a couple. Of years. So what's the f- then? The logic doesn't work anymore. Okay. If I come back to Dallas, which is it isn't if, I do have a girlfriend that lives in Dallas, I will have that connection at that club. Now You don't know what your future looks like, do no you? No idea. You well no, I, but nobody does. I can only go with no, the no, no, you're, no, you're right. Sorry, I phrased it in the wrong way. You don't know what your future looks like, but you should have a plan. I have a very What's the rough, point of going to plan. college if you don't have a plan? What's the point of doing a job that doesn't have a future if you don't have a plan? It's okay if you do any of them. If it's leading you to a certain goal, what's your goal? What's your plan? Where do you see yourself? That's the question. Where do you see yourself? Hmm. Things change. We don't know the future, but where do you see yourself? I could end up in Dallas. I could be in New York. I could be a caddy. I could make connections. I might be in cybersecurity. There's no plan there. There's no where I see myself. There, there's you're just, no, you're no just a throw the dice and hope to get a 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's definitely, it, it's like... 
it is a little like gambling for sure. But I, I, you're, I can't, I can't push back on that. You're right. There's no, there's no real cut and dry plan. I think that being red team on a cybersecurity job would be fun, which is why I think that pursuing that would be good. I had a little bit of a stint of I don't want to go back to school because I'll make my own way and blah, 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 you know, internet red pill stuff. And I, I thought about that a lot. And I was like, as much as this is possible, I've been failing with consistency so hard that I I need to go back to school. And the jobs that are available for people without a degree, because so many people have degrees now, are so bad. Like, even if people who have degrees aren't getting jobs, the people who don't also aren't. Well, jobs in certain places. Yeah, yeah. Because right now, I mean, the labor market, like, still, you could go get a service-based job. Yeah. And there's still very much in demand trade school jobs and that's not a degree it's a more of a certification so i mean the one size fits all doesn't work yeah I, i've never liked the don't go to college college is bad yeah and i don't like the you must go to college college is great and it's the end all be all nothing is one size fits all you're going to have your own path and own journey uh what about i mean you know i always talk about uh, tech certifications to course careers and those are great and there's one of my best friends here who makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year in cybersecurity. went to a boot camp and doesn't have a degree if you consider it a boot camp so so i i actually am certified with cybersecurity through google through the google career certificate great. it has not landed me an interview i've applied to over a yeah. hundred jobs it yeah. is really hard and well, the I, things i, I like about certifications well the thing i like about certifications is that it's a good boost to a resume it's yeah. a good boost it's exactly. great it's not the okay there's i have no experience in anything and this is all i have to say to my name it's a great you know thing to push you over the edge and that's why i feel like i need to and also your resume might be, it, my resume oh my resume is totally <laughs> i have no idea how to make oh, one well, of those i am no sh i'm getting interviews. yeah uh bachelor degrees okay again i'm not against it yeah i'm against it if i have to pay a ton of money for it that that's what I'm against it. If if it's not, what's your educate? What's your background with education? You're 23. Yeah. So um, high school was really really rough for me. I I effectively tested out of high school. I really didn't show up. Didn't really make the seat time. And I took all the state mandated tests and finals. And I passed every one of them. So they put me through. And I have a high school degree with honors. Uh, and I went to college for a couple of years. COVID happened, and I fizzled out with everybody else because I was already dealing with the well, not everybody else, well, but. Some people did. A very a large portion of people. A decent amount yeah. of people. Yeah. They're like, I'm yeah. not going to pay the full price for going online. Yeah. And well, there's everybody had their own reasons. Mine was, sure. mine was basically, I'm struggling super hard when it comes to school, anyways. A lot of the world is taking a break. You can afford to do that right now. Okay. But now it's time to go back. It's been two or three years. It's So, how much know. more schooling will you have left? For the cyber uh, security degree, it should be about uh, it should be two to three years. It might take longer based on if I need to get my GPA up to go to a certain school. I don't know. It might be uh, the main plan is to go back to community college, get an associates, and play up a year from there. I have I have some plans, but they're short term. They're not like I don't I don't have this goal in the distance. That's like this is my life plan. You know. I know one of those plans was kind of weird. You're chasing some scholarship. I was told. Yes. And I'm confused. So what's the college you're looking at going? So I'm to? looking at I'm looking at different things. Right now I'm going to go to community college for a year until next year, that's for sure. Yeah. That being said, I'm great. kind of laying down some connections for uh a scholarship because I I need some kind of scholarship. What's the scholarship? The scholarship for it's for gaming. I'm a I'm a very high level gamer. I play Overwatch is the my game of choice. High level gamer, but you're the third best in the lobby that we went to. <laughs> that we have access to yeah. and your damage is third best in the lobby yeah okay all right so your so, overall so so people who have seen that including coaches at different universities have looked at that mm -hmm. they've said they thought it was a very high level lobby which, which it is that is sure. a, that is a lobby that are so they're going to give a scholarship to there. the third best kd ratio so so versus number two and one all right, so I'm not going to fully explain Overwatch to you, which is which is okay, but uh, there's a lot of different jobs and things that happen in games that don't re directly relate to your KD. Did I make yeah. mistakes in that game that I've looked at and I've been like, you know, we could have won if I did something else? Absolutely. Why is this That's a game you should? Why? Oh, because that was a game that I lost. I shared that one because that was one that I saved for some coaching because you there's no reason to look at games where you just totally popped off and beat everybody because you can't learn anything from them. That was what I had on my Twitch. That was what was you easy You can't learn to what you did well and make that even better, though? 
it, it's harder. It doesn't really make sense. You can, but it's harder. It's I mean, just, I learn. I, I get learning. Philosophically, I get learning sense. from failures as well. But it doesn't mean you can't learn from successes. Sense. Either way, regardless of how good you think or don't think I am, mm -hmm. I have stats to back it up. I've been ranked forty-one in North America mm -hmm. multiple times. I have. Where are you ranked right now? Um, somewhere in the top 500, like 200-ish. I think 220 is my season peak. Why is 220 getting the scholarship versus one? Because one is pro and one, not everybody's going to college. Not, yeah. not everybody, there's the, the collegiate scene, that's crazy good. That's who enough gives to get the a scholarship? Pro. Colleges who want to have a strong esports program. And the college you're going to wants to have a strong esports program? Well, one that I'm looking at pretty extensively is up in Massachusetts. I just don't want to disclose any names or amounts because I don't Which want Which is to... going to be out of state, so it's going to be much more expensive. It is. Is that... it a private school? Yes, it is. What's the scholarship? If you get awarded the full scholarship? It's... It... I don't want to give you a direct amount. It is... Give me a range, then. It's equivalent to a f an athletic scholarship for, like, football, like, anywhere. Like, like a full... Yeah. Okay, so full ride. It It's over... If I live off campus, it's very close to a full ride. It's like 75 to 80%. Okay. Room and board, which I think I might not be. How many people get transfer. awarded the scholarship at a university like that? I would. I, I know. I'm, how many How people? many? I I don't have a number for you. I haven't looked into that enough. But I, what I'm told is top recruits awarded this would be awarded this scholarship. Why don't you have it yet? Because I'm not going to college yet. And I'm not going to that school yet. But if it was paid for, it wouldn't matter. You could go there. Community college is a great way to go more affordable for college, but if college is free. Yeah, so it wouldn't be totally free. It's just very low cost. You said it would, if you lived off campus, it would basically Close. be. Yeah, but but still like, but, if you're looking at a school If it's basically free though, that still might be cheaper than community college. And it might be, but I have to run the numbers with that and I haven't yet because the, the plan is to go to community college to live close to home as well. So that oh, I, I, don't okay. have, I don't have to be away from home and like struggle with all you're not really doing well with school. Like get your academic feedback for a year. Yeah. The price is comparable. Maybe fix your GPA. I don't know if my GPA after tanking out of college could qualify for this school. Even even with them looking at me for gaming and saying we want you, the GPA is still a factor. Have they, uh, in the conversations of the scholarship for someone who's in the top 500, not top 100, top 500, um, what have the conversations been of Hey, we want you. How's uh, that going? Depends on the school. I, I typically just kind of, right now. If it depends on the school, then it typically means a more mid program is going to be the one that's offering it. Uh, it. Academically, yes. That being said. Well, the sports program. Oh, yeah. Well, why would ever, if you were the top of the class in terms of recruitment. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get a full understanding on this. I know I'm pushing back decently. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I, it's, it's, like, it's just hard to explain because there's not like well, a ton of knowledge in the area. And I'm, I'm trying to communicate what I know, but I'm not somebody who works at these schools, so I don't have the full picture. I have some pictures. If I was a pro player, there's one school that I could go to, uh, which you can look up right now. Very, very top Overwatch team. I wouldn't, I'm not good enough to go there. I wouldn't be able to qualify for there. There's a bunch of other schools that are also very high in collegiate that they would want me to go there. I don't like Maryville academically. I like some place like, for example, Clark University. I like that academically a lot better. Uh, even if the program might be a little lower than Maryville, I don't want to strive to go to Maryville because I want a good education. And the point of this is to leverage a scholarship. The point mm -hmm. of this is not to go be a pro player. Like, would it be really fun to like take a year and do that if I improve to the level where that's like good? Yeah, but that's not the end goal. Is that why you're investing money into like, a professional coach? Yeah, I mean, how much money have I invested into a professional coach? Uh, that's a fantastic question. I've had one session so far with him. Okay. And he has how connections to the, it's $35. Oh, here comes the connections thing again. Okay. Yeah, connect, so, you cannot tell me connections are not useful. Like, no, I, I know I fall back on it a lot. No, 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 no. I'm not saying they're not useful, but a lot of people justify a lot of things in life based on connections that have yeah. never gone anywhere. I hear that on this show all yeah, the time. Not, so what are these yeah. massive overwatch connections it's I mean, it's it's just it's good to be known in the scene and it's good to be known good by, by good. somebody who works at a top level school that i might want to go to okay that so is connections in me. the school yeah direct okay. directly in a school that i might want to go to and i'm not gonna you know no no, no you don't have to yeah. say the name or anything like that uh but isn't at this point if your mom's taking care of all these extra bills isn't she essentially paying for the coaching in a way indirectly indirectly yes in, how many uh, well, how okay, many okay, okay i don't I don't know about that. She pays for transportation. She would not give me money for coaching. Isn't she if, paying for community college once you go there? Uh, for community college? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
How? But how does that? And then she'll be her? taking care of your rent as well while you're up there. Well, you'll be living I'm at home. I'm living at home. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the plan. Save money. The, my my lease is up in April down here. That's the plan is not to continue with the rent bill. The reason I'm moving home is because rent, like everybody has rent. Rent sucks. Yeah, but everyone works and pays for their rent. Yeah, you don't. How many hours a month are you putting in, into Overwatch? Definitely more than my job. Okay. Doesn't the big boy maturity thing mean? Let's go at least take care of our bills first before the video game. Yeah, I And mean, as a video game nerd, love them, I focus more these days on like strategy games. That's kind of my thing that I've fallen into and in like building city games. But yeah, um, so those me, are, those are pumped, fun. Those they're are very fun. fun yeah. And I've pumped yeah. many, too, many hours into them. But before I do, I pay my bills. Yeah. Yeah. Like an adult. I mean, I, I don't I don't have anything to really disagree with you. Like, what you said is objectively correct, and I, I don't have a... I mean, you worked three days last month, and you yeah. streamed 18 days. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You worked three days last month, and... Well, how many days... Oh. I don't know. When was the last time you streamed? Because I know you do some streaming. Yeah, it was it was a while ago. It was... I, um, I really wanted to start it back up, and my girlfriend and I kind of went through a rough patch, and we were... Uh, you know, at that point, she kind of just took the PC that I was using, and I haven't really had access. So, okay, how often do you stream? I would like to stream every day for about four hours. Okay, do we do that again when we worked three days last month? This is I want our priorities, man. Well, I I can't just get more caddying loops if I don't have them. I don't have no. Them. But we can work another job in the service-based industry at the minimum. At a minimum, you know. Uh, they have Summer Moon up there, Summer Moon Coffee. Yeah, up I in think the Dallas so. area, well, they do. It's, yeah, it's just this is just walk with me here. It's an example. Okay. Uh, I'm addicted to Moon Milk currently. It's <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's their like creamer, and so every once in a while I go in there and I get some from the office. The manager uh, the other day recognized me. He's like, "Oh, Caleb, I love your show." So I was like, "Oh, thanks." We so stuck up the conversation. He was like, "Dude." Anyone, anyone you talk to on on your show who like says they can't get a job, please, dude, just like force them all to come here. We pay twenty five dollars an hour for like the easiest job ever in the history of the world. Please, we literally just need humans to come here and just stand for a second. You can get a job that pays money, man. Yeah, and know. work more than three days a month. I don't care if you can't get more loops. You have the ability to work if you want to you don't want to you stream instead if you can get a scholarship fantastic we, we looked into the scholarship a bit we, you talked about your ranking i don't you're putting a bit of a bet on it and that's okay a lot of people do when it comes to going for sports uh scholarships and stuff like that and this is very similar same with music scholarship yeah. and stuff like that i got a scholarship for my music not as extensive as a full ride not even close but even still we're putting a lot of weight on that I mean, instead yeah, of being able to pay our bills today but you, you know, can't pay rent. You're putting yeah, it on a right, card. Right. Well, maybe. What if I just don't feel like getting a job right now? What if I just don't want to do that for a couple months? Like, what if I just want to? Well, that's yeah. just the most childish thing I've ever heard in yeah. my life. Yeah, it, I, I guess it might be. How is that okay? How are you okay with being essentially like a leech on society at that point? I just, I guess I just don't want like a job that I just would find what? boring. I don't want a boring job. Be yeah. an adult. What do you mean? That's not a thing. <sighs> What? Boring jobs. How are boring jobs not a thing? Did you, did you ever work a job where you were like... No, this is yeah. not an, uh, that's just not a thing that is like real world. Like that's not a... Th I don't a even boring, know... Boring jobs I, I don't exist. even know how to like phrase this boring because jobs that's... Boring totally exist. No, that's not... I'm not saying that. I'm saying the thought you had is like the stupidest thought I've ever heard. You're free to think that. What the f*** are you? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't coordinate with your ADHD, does it? The what boredom... Does? Oh, that that one hundred percent does. So, I mean, it coordinates, but it does. I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. What about like delivery driving for like Jimmy John's? That's what I did. It's not boring. With with what car? Oh, well, that's true. That, <laughs> no, no, that. Sorry, I was just going off my own example. I was trying yeah. to think of like what did I do through college that wasn't boring, and that wasn't boring. So it's just it doesn't. I don't know. I mean, I think walking on a golf course is boring, but. Yeah, we I'd, all have different things. We agree to disagree on that. I mean, I guess there's not, you know, with. I mean, I think driving over the like uh, sand pits 
going way too fast dangerously in a golf cart is very fun. Yeah. Um, um, I think the courses. Tony Romo would love me. you, dude. That, that's what that dude does. Yeah. All right. So on one of these cards that is currently 0%, the Capital One Savior, $1,215.34. The $25 minimum monthly payment. Yeah. Is making minimum monthly payments bad? I mean, you got to keep that going, right? What? What are you talking about? No. Yeah. You put a minimum monthly payment towards it. Uh, you didn't put anything extra towards it. No, not right now. And then you put $836 against it. New transactions, bringing it up from $604 to $1,215. Great. Oh, f it's, just, it's just going out to eat. So it doesn't even matter. Whatever that Roman restaurant, Roman restaurant, alien champion. Alan? Alan? I, yeah. It was, that was, that was, those Michael were actually Kors, old. Adidas. 108 bucks from Adidas. Is that for golf caddying? Those are all tax deductible, which is cool. Bushnell Golf. Oh, because you're contractors? Yes. Tax deductible with what income? What are you talking about? Ambit, it's Whataburger, there. Whataburger, Sonic, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, and Joe's Pizza. So great. What are the things we're actually putting on a 0% interest credit card going out to f***ing eat? Uh, you have to eat food. Like, I, I, I've... What is this world? What is this society? What have we gotten to? Have you ever heard of this wonderful invention called a bag of chips or a sandwich or a lasagna? Do, do, do you know, like, when's the last time you've been to a store and, like, tried to buy things to make those things? I go to the grocery store, like, once yeah. a week. Last time I went to the grocery store, I bought water. I bought a case of, you know, the, the drink ice. So I had, didn't buy as much drinks out. And I, uh... I bought bread oh, and I bought start. a bag of chips. Oh, yeah. And I, I was at Kroger and I was trying to buy, buy things that were on sale with the Kroger card to save sure. money. It sure. was $37. Okay. Most of that sounds like the f ice thing. It was, that was 11. Yeah. And then what What was the your, water? A bag of chips? What, what, what water? Like what? Like Ozarka. A, like a big old thing of like a bunch of individual packs no, of water? No, it was, so I actually, since I was using like a lift to get home, I didn't want to carry, like, figure out how to carry that in and out of a lift and up my yeah. stairs. So it was two small packs of, like, six water. Yeah, bottled water. Okay. Well, bottled water is kind of an expensive way to go about water versus a water bottle one time charge for $5. Yeah. 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 Is it, but, but realistically, is that going to make or break my financial situation? Like, that. What amount? do you mean? You put it on a 0% interest card, you can't pay for it. When we did our budgeting program, uh, which you get to go through for free, congratulations, uh, we put together a grocery budget from H-E-B, which you have access to up in Dallas. Um, I personally don't have access to an H-E-B. It's too far. Okay. Well, either way, it was just an example of a grocery store. Oftentimes on grocery stores, what you can do is when you have a item that you need to shop for, you can sort it by cheapest to most expensive on the website, and you can find where it is in the aisle. And what we do are the free pickups. I, not every grocery store offers that. But what we did in the budgeting program is laid out 2,500 calories a day, plus snacks and desserts, all that shit. 300 bucks a month for a single person. You're spending $20 a meal going out to eat. $20 a meal going out to eat. How many, how many, what do you eat for breakfast? Do you eat breakfast? No. Okay, lunch. Do you go out? 15, 20 bucks in that realm. Okay, yeah. and then dinner. 15, 20 bucks in that Okay, realm. so Same 17 day. plus 17. Uh, 17 plus 17 plus 365 days a year. 17 plus 17 plus 365 nine days. Grand. Divide that by 12. Yeah, that's $1,304 a month versus the $300 a month if you went to the grocery store. But th but I, I've never been able to go to the grocery store and do then that. Then you Man, haven't budgeted. You haven't meal prepped. You haven't planned. You walked in there and you bought shit. You didn't plan. I absolutely did not plan. You're correct. And the, the other the other thing though is so no it didn't work. What are you? That doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I guess, what I kind of argument? I guess, I guess I guess it doesn't make sense. But then it also comes down to like one: if you eat at home, the food is not just free. You do have to still spend that cost. And then you on top of that yeah, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, you on top of that, I have to buy a bunch of cookware. Does it make sense to buy a bunch? You don't of, have anything. I have nothing. Buy in my a pan. A pan. You can multi-use if one has lips. And one is flat. You can multi-use it and wash it between things. So th then get one fork, one knife, one spoon, one bowl, one plate. You win. What is? Th yeah, I, I, I guess that's, that sounds like a ton of effort. It sounds like a ton 
Well, you're just lazy then, and yeah. you're not going to get anywhere in life with that attitude. It's as easy yeah. as that. Work three days a week. <laughs> not get a single piece of cookwork. <laughs> this is being a lazy little. F yeah, so, I, I guess. Stop. I guess there's some truth. Okay, to stop. Though. All right. Freedom card. If you give a, sh which I personally think you do from the pre-show talks and everything. If you give a sh it's going to take some work. That's obviously your hard part is yeah. not being lazy and actually dedicating yourself and seeing th yeah. things through and coming in with plans. Minimum monthly payment on this one, 40 bucks. And that's all you put towards it, Shocker. And we've added an extra 655. We're just bringing these balances up. And that interest is going to start accruing. And it's going to f you. Now it's at $1,040.21. Oh, what did we do? We went to McAllister's Deli, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, AMC Online. So we went to the sh movie theater that exists. Great. Popeyes, some puttery, Portillo's, Pizza Hut, uh, Steam. Great. I thought you only played Overwatch. Gotta Cook branch Shack. out sometimes. Huh? You gotta branch out sometimes. You can't just play with Cook Shack and uh, Talate Bar. The interest rate on this guy, it's gonna be about 30% when that kicks in, dude. It's not gonna be good. That's 2025. And you're just building it early 2025. You're just yeah. building it up. Building actually technically less than a year from now, now at yeah. this point. Yeah, it's it, yeah, that's not uh right. no, just about a year. Yeah. And you're just building it up. You're just building it up. You're like, yeah, I'm not going to work. I'm building it up, building it up. Oh, I'm not going to bring in any money in order to pay it off. Building it up, building it up. And it's going to f*** you. And you're going to be in the middle of college. And this is going to be accruing. Like on the student loans you already have, even though we haven't completed college. So it's just like. Well, those those, those actually aren't accruing. Because I I, def oh, I I don't think I deferred them. But I applied for a plan where they wouldn't accrue interest until a certain point in time. Yeah, interest has accrued, though. Yeah. I think it accrued pre-COVID, I want to say. And then the built card. That's just rent, and it gets paid off every month. I, I, Better. I don't know how you do it. It's it's because you made four hundred dollars. You has to be you have to be getting money from someone or somewhere. Well, I had so before I switched my job, I had a bit of money saved aside for that month's rent, and I held it in my bank account. So then I added it, and then I made sure I did that. And now what's the plan? I I didn't have a plan past that. I thought I'd be making more money. Yeah, it's new pretty, plan. Get sure. job what adults do yeah i think i think that finding a supplemental job would be a really good idea and i've i've genuinely been struggling with that in what ways i a lot of the jobs that i have applied for which you know ultimately i guess isn't too much um i tried for probably only about a week and then i just kind of gave up but it um well that's obvious yeah yeah well a, a lot of them just wouldn't take me, wouldn't respond to me because I had another caddying job where I wasn't able to like commit to a shift. Because if I get called into work, I'm going to pick the thing that I want to do more. I don't care about what you want though. I mean, I, right I always now. will. Yeah, I mean, I- Always will? I will care what, about what I want You put do, your yeah. wants above your needs. You will always put your wants above your needs. If so, this conversation is pointless. Okay, that's- To be honest. That, I don't think that that is a true statement. I do not always put my wants above my needs. Right well, now, you just said guess, you always yeah. will, though. So, well, I, I know. I said I always will care about what I want. I never said I would always put my wants above my needs. I can care about my needs too. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not how I took that. But sure. Okay. I will trust you and say that's what you meant. So, if that's the case, then go work one of those jobs today. When you get back home, when are you moving back to New York? April fourteenth. Is the job going to hire me for a month? <laughs> What's the, what was the point of this whole networking thing that we took advantage of? Because if, I, if I come back, I have the connections. If I work at another job, that money disappears. I don't know where do I'm going to mean that be? money disappears? You're just building up debt right okay, now. Yeah, that's future that, money's that disappearing. That pretty bad. Future money's disappearing. Future about? money, yeah, that's true. Student loan, somewhere at 5%. Right now, you're not having to pay it. Um, the status is in repay, but it's in... The loan program you're in, but interest, no, your interest is still accruing. You are incorrect. Your interest okay. is still accruing. You don't have to make payments right now. You might be on some income-based thing. Yeah. And you're not paying any interest. Your interest is accruing. Your total principal balance started at $11,000. 
but what you're going to pay back in total at the end on your current path is $23,318. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I don't... <sighs> That's with interest being paid. Yeah, I don't... That's I, insanity. That, it's a lot. I don't plan to make it go full term. What do you mean? I, I don't plan on like paying off... I, I plan on paying off more of the loan when with I can. With what income? With right what Right now, job? nothing. Right now, nothing. Exactly. So how does that change in the future? I, I guess that's a future thing. I haven't directly thought about that. Oh, that's such a dangerous mindset. That's such a dangerous mindset. That's not how this works. That, that It is an instant good, feel-good thing. It's a sigh of relief when we're just like, we're not going to worry about this today. It's a tomorrow thing. Yeah, it does. There is... Trust me, I get that. Feels good. That's not what an adult does. Yeah. And congratulations, 23. Welcome to adulthood. You've been here for a couple years now. Now it's time to level up our yeah, behavior I mean, to reflect. That's that's the plan with school is if I can go back and do it with smaller amounts of debt, I will have a better yeah, paying job. Yeah, but with job. school, you're tr what if you don't get the scholarship? Because you're banking on it. Uh, if I don't get a scholarship, well, I, I'm, it's, it's pretty... I'm not going to say it's like sure, but I I can get a okay, scholarship let's say, somewhere. Let's say let's say the likelihood is high. It's very high. Well, let's say it's high. There's still a chance you don't. What happens if you don't? And that's an if. Well, it, it doesn't if that, it's high. doesn't that go against all the other stuff of like having a plan? Like the the, the plan is this. It, it's banking on a good idea. I don't want to take out a bunch of money for student loans. No, no, loans. no. I know a plan. So the plans I usually talk about, they're more plans where there's steps along the way to execute in order to hit a goal. What your plan is relying on is hoping to get accepted into something. There's a lot more out of mm. your control there. Yeah, it's it's definitely kind of a backwards mindset. But I, I would say I would say the steps with this are continuous improvement and Keep in contact with people who know me and know that I'm improving, and then you know, there's the. Do you the think you might be relying too much on this hope that other people are going to be the ones that save you? These connections that you formed, networking is not a bad thing by any means, especially in the industry you're trying to do. You know your career in. Yeah. But you're like taking a big bank on these other people on this scholarship. A lot of things outside of your own control. It is. It is a big gamble. I guess if you put it that way, yeah. But I, I but so why not be the one in control? Well, I, I am not in control financially. That that is well, no. that. Yeah, I mean, okay, but to, to make the argument that I'm totally out of control is wrong. I'm I'm in control with my skill level. I'm in control with. Yes, well, whether or not to, someone not accepts you, there's also the academic. Yeah, there's the yeah. academic part. Uh, well, that's school. in my control too. Is improving my GPA at a college in order to get accepted. That that's totally in my control. What's not in my control right now? What can is you improve your overall GPA to? Even if you have a perfect semester, perfect two semesters of community college, what will it improve your overall record to? I don't know. I haven't. I have not looked at that. That that is. Shouldn't we know before we're committing to this big plan? You're already planning to move back to New York to execute this, but you don't know what you can raise it to overall. I don't know the specifics, but I do know I have to go to New York anyways. And college. Why? Come, well, I'm not. I can't pay rent. I can't afford it. Mm, that's well, for, it's really obvious. Well, yeah, but that's because you're choosing not to work. That's a choice. You could live here if you wanted to. I and also, what about your relationship? I mean, that's gonna f you with your relationship, right? I mean, Aren't we start, you down we, here together? Yeah, but we started long distance. Okay, and you're gonna go backwards now. In that aspect, yeah, we are gonna okay. go backwards. I also, it's that adds extra stresses to life. It does, but it also, quite honestly, I'm not. I I don't really like it down here to the level that I'm mentally like super okay. Okay. And that's something I really had to be honest with myself about. And I had to say, well, hey, good. I want to I want to go home and I want to make sure that I get mentally okay. And that's, once again, that's that stuff that's over on the side. Sure. That that factors into everything, but I don't want it to affect the accountability of Well, what, I'm what down I'm saying, for right? that. Yeah. If that's the reason you said from the beginning, I'm totally down for that. But you said I can't afford to live here. You can. You're choosing not to. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll concede on that point. So in the cash app, we're just sending money to someone and we're just... Uh, transferring money out somewhere, so really not much there. And we're using Fidelity as a checking account. Started with a lot of money, and we only ended with one thousand. Yeah, I. You know what? There is a lot of relying on other people with that stuff, where you're looking at start a lot of money ended with, and it's um. I I had some stuff put away, and then when I decided to stay down here and you know pursue the relationship, I put a deposit on an apartment, and everything kind of. Is your lease up in April? Yeah. Good. Well, that's yeah. I only I only got a six month lease because I, as as much as you were prepared to fail, weren't you? 
It usually doesn't set us up for success. I I am as much as you're saying that what happens if this doesn't work, what happens if this doesn't work, I always tend to put up contingencies that prepare my worst case scenarios to not spiral. So that's what I do. And it's like it's a it, it is it is flawed. But the contingency of example, I'm in debt right now, I'm home in a month. That's the contingency. I can't accrue a shit ton of more debt in that time, even if it sucks. It it's can't? not gonna be wait, wait. Like there's no way for me to if if I can if I'm just if I'm just paying for food, there and going just, out to eat a thousand hours a month. Okay, I, I can probably save money by eating at home. I I, I that's, probably I mean seven hundred dollars mathematically. I have never probably. been able to do that in practice. Well, go through planning, our program. Through, okay, all right. Maybe with your program, I'll 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 resend that point. But right now, I I will never been able to do it if you actually fall. Well, the the other, the other yeah, all right. Sorry, go ahead. All right. Well, so the other the other aspect of that is realistically, do you, you just said yourself that you go get lattes and stuff or, or moon moon milk, right? Yeah, you said, I don't have bad debt. You, and I have I a know. fully funded emergency fund and if it's in my 50, 30, 20, you have bad debt. You do not have a fully funded emergency fund. You are not in your 50, 30, 20 period of your life. I'm I can yet. afford it. You yes, can't. Yes, I agree with that 100%. With all of that, realistically is somebody going to be able to hold to that plan and i People know myself, have on this show i would find it incredibly hard to hold to that there's certain things that i would i would in practice i would buy the groceries and i would still buy food and it was always me when i was doing that and i it was mm -hmm. every time I, well you I, didn't I tried, go in with a plan you I said that before i didn't well i actually did multiple times with aldi and okay, i well now I, you're I, lying then you either lied before or you're lying okay. now choose which one I didn't fully finish what I was saying before. Okay. There have been times I've gone to Aldi. I know that I have issues with cookware and stuff. They have a, like kind of pre-prepared stuff that's a little cheaper. And I've tried to keep to a decent plan. I spent about, I spent like 100, 150 bucks. And that was one week's worth of food. And that was... Even that will save you so much money. Yeah. it, it In theory, it would. But then I was also like... My girlfriend asked, hey, do you want to go out and grab this thing? Because if I'm just buying food for myself, I'm going to go do it. And in, in practice... Don't start pushing blame. Oh, you okay. can say no. Yes. You can you say can, no or you can, can say, say no. I can't afford well, it. And well, then she the might thing. offer to pay. I'm not pushing blame. Is I would always want to go do that. And I would always want okay. to go there. And I yeah. would be the person who would always be like, yes. And I would, I would sometimes I would pay for her too. And that's just what I wanted to do. Whether okay. or not there's blame there, that was a that was a decision. That was a choice. But again, and, what's more important than wants? Needs. Yeah. So you have a lack of discipline. Yes. And, you know, that's okay. It's lack of we, discipline. We will get you the discipline, uh, lack of accountability, lack of plan, preparation, a lot of things. You just have to be willing to change that. And if you are, but you've already set yourself up for defeat. You said, uh, there, I'm not going to be able to do this, is what you said. I set myself up for failure a lot. I put contingencies in place. Contingencies just... are okay. That's what an emergency fund is. It's yeah. a contingency in your financial life. But setting yourself up for failure is not okay. You're allowing, you're giving yourself a preemptive excuse to fail. Trust me, it's not going to be perfect. When yeah. I was getting out of debt and I went hard and extreme, I had slip ups. I was not perfect. N of the average people on the show who paid off eight thousand dollars or seven, eight thousand dollars in seven months, or the median six thousand dollars in six months, um, if I'm getting my numbers right, they had slip ups along the way too. It happens. But preemptively excusing your future slip up is unacceptable because that'll just spiral, man. That'll just spiral. Yeah, that's, that's justifying. It's making it okay. And you're doing that. And that scares me. That's, that is, I, I can see it. And that is, that is, I agree with you. That is genuinely the, the biggest problem Good. Is, is it's, oh man. Yeah. It, it's just that. In your fidelity, you're just transferring things in and out. <coughs> your Venmo is, uh, Again, just back and forth. Yeah, back and forth with people. Oh, great. What okay. is this, Cash App? This is money coming in for your uh, mom. 50, 50, 50, 300, 100. That's all only transportation? Uh, That's... Where was that? I mean, February was 350. I don't... Okay. 50, the, the, 50, the, 300, 50. the 300 was because I bought my own Christmas gift back in December, and she wanted to reimburse me for that. That's what that was. The 50s transportation stuff. Uh, Mama Josh. What are we going to do? I, I'm i very aware that I wouldn't be able to really survive without it right now. I'm very aware of that. I'm yeah. not, it's not like a place I want to be forever, but it is absolutely a place that I am now. By choice. It, 
a bad choice that I don't want to be there. By forever? choice. By by choice. Yeah. Yeah. Does but your cho- mom know it? Choose? Does your mom know that you're choosing this? Yeah, I mean, choices. Is she are enabling simple. bad behavior? I'd say potentially yes. Does she know? I wonder how informed she is. I think she's I don't know. I don't know like her, but looking at her picture, she seems like a very nice lady. She's a very nice lady. And I think that she's helping until I come home. But is it actually helping you? And that's what I don't know. It's, Three dollars yeah. sitting in this extra account is doing nothing. Whatever. That's it. So you have nothing in retirement. Scary. In retirement? No. Scary. Yeah. You'd want to start now. You, I, it wouldn't. I know. It wouldn't Compound be anything interest. significant now. Yeah. But you'd want to start now. Of your spending categories. Y'all, this is the time to switch to my favorite high-yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get 4.6% on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value, so make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to $2 million with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. First of all, remember, total income that came in just from Paul, <laughs> 995 of this was from your mom, essentially. Well, no, We're, from no. from from Venmo's in Venmo's in total. That I can I also get paid in Venmo sometimes for caddying. Okay, so total yeah. that came in from Venmo's, about five hundred of that came from your mom with the three hundred. With the three hundred, it did, but that well, was, yeah. I, I I'd already. I know, but yeah. that all I'm saying is that's yeah, what came in. Yeah, okay, it, so yeah. what probably actually came in minus what your uh, minus the gift was about a thousand dollars. Yeah, probably what came in, but total spending was two thousand seven hundred fifty nine. Yeah. Housing, $1,182.68 or 42.9% of your spending. Transportation, 0.9%. Where's where, where are the transportation bills going? To her card. Oh, that's why I don't see them. Yes. They're going to her card? Yeah, it was... It and was, why is she sending you $50 here and there? What do you mean? With... with if, oh, it's okay. going, if it's charging her card, yeah, why yeah, is she yeah, sending yeah, you yeah. money? Okay, yeah. Answer the question... Sorry, I'm, my my brain is like short circuiting. Sorry if we could okay. like just take a moment. It's okay because I, I I know the answer and I'm just like lost and I'm not. I don't feel like pressed or anything. I'm just kind of like You're okay. I'm just lost. No, that's okay. So my mom yeah, does sure. my mom does cover transportation. She covers she covers that. That is going to her card via Lyft, which is why you don't see it. She was also sending me a little bit fifty dollars a week, which was helpful. And she was being For nice and doing that just just to just to help because she knew that I was struggling with the not getting work and we've talked about it and it it is much more nuanced with that with caddy politics and what I thought I would get and wouldn't get and she was like okay I can help you a little bit here's what I have she's very very kind when it comes to that she is that's very what, kind that's what you're seeing with the Venmo I thought you were looking at a different thing but you know now from the beginning when you said she only did transportation that is now incorrect no, because she, she, she is, is giving you a couple yes, because she's yes. giving you a couple hundred bucks a month she pays for, yes she pays for transportation she helps a little bit as well. I wasn't and, trying to omit and I, anything. I just, and I'm concerned that it's not actually helping you. I, it is not helping me financially. That is objectively true. Because you're able to slightly skate by. You having access to the credit cards is not helping you. It's allowing you to be lazy. Necessary food. Use your grocery stores. 16.8%. $462.15 expensive. Going out to eat $802.53 or 29.1% of your spending. Unknown shopping, typically Walmart, Amazon. I think in your case it was Walmart. We just don't know what was there. 0.4%. Miscellaneous BS is a stop and getting some bull. 8.6% or $236.38. Other large purchases, 1.3%. Now, I think in some of the miscellaneous, I think we may have calculated some of the golf things there, which is not totally fair. Uh, yes, it was. Well, I mean, mini golf. Come on, that's not tax deductible. Yeah, you, you, yeah, no, that's not tax deductible. Blizzard, AMC. Now, Champion Clothing, that was for work Adidas, and what? so that's okay. What I will say about AMC. But still, Grant come Manton. on. Out of, out of, before you say that, just still yeah. on this. That's the food spending. Uh, not only is the food, but so with some of the miscellaneous bullshit, and probably overspending on groceries as well, because we're just food, food, food. Um, well, I'd say about 40% of your spending is unnecessary. What were we going to say? Well, that, that was, that was, oh, well, the AMC thing is the, AMC stubs is great entertainment value if you're trying to save money and get oh save money sure I wouldn't if I was well, if I wanted to see movies 
Yeah. And uh, I could only afford the movie theaters. I guess I'd go to the movie theaters. I think we've established I can only afford the movie theaters. I think we have. <laughs> well, no, I don't think you can afford any movie well, theaters. Well, yeah, there you go. In reality, but... Okay! Total income. 1,000. Plus mom, 1,200, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting. Oh, people, people get upset if I don't make the budget. Because <laughs> everyone likes to be upset at everything. Oh, but this changes in a month. You move back home. So is there even a point to this is what I ask. I mean, you, you <sighs> could... I then think that's your job, but your spending is going to be different. Okay. You don't have rent. You yeah. don't have this. I, I, you don't, I have don't. I don't think there is a point to making a current budget immediately. I yeah. think that maybe like a helpful, like kind of rough plan of like what things should be going totally could do wonders for me. Okay, sure. Well, that's fair enough. These cards, man, they make me nervous. Right now, they haven't bloomed to something that's like will destroy you. Yeah, I, They're in the beginning process of turning into something that could destroy you. I'm a little nervous relying everything on this scholarship. I hope you get it. I'm rooting for it. If you yeah. get it, yeah, all about it. I'm a little nervous relying on it, especially if we, if we don't understand where our academic standing is going to be after community The college. academic standing is the hard part. The other stuff is... Th that, that's I appreciate your confidence in your skills. Number three in the lobby. <laughs> but... <laughs> One v one me. <laughs> I've never played that game. I know. I, I, I'm sure if I played what, City Skylines, that you'd have a little bit more experience. Than that. <laughs> I would build such a better highway than you, <laughs> so it wouldn't look like Dallas highways. <laughs> uh, depends if I wanted my Sims to suffer or not. Yes. But okay, if we're moving back home, let's assume the balances are going to be like 500 bucks more when we move back home. Okay. So you move back home. What I would like to do, focus on that community college so you can get your grades to where they need to be. It sounds like mom is going to be covering living expenses, potentially transportation. At uh, that point? Well, I have a car up there. I, I just don't. How am I? Am I going to ship a car to Texas? There are things called roads. Yeah, I mean, I I know. Well, okay. I, I actually, brought mine down from I, I will, Michigan. I will tell you the actual reason. The Multiple first, times. the first is it started as a visit, and I didn't know if I was going to get a six month lease and I ended up doing that. Okay, once that's you signed it, that's so when you I go back it, and to get the, the car. The second thing is driving down here is f scary on Dallas highways. It is until compared you compared to like where where I'm from and I just never got over that hump and I was always just like in six months I'm just gonna be gone. It's gonna be okay. So you, know, you knew gone. you were gonna be gone six months from the beginning. So I was, again you set was, yourself up positive. for failure. Yeah I did some if you want to look at it like that, yeah but the idea was ah. I just you know I had a, I had a good idea that I might be. I didn't. I had not decided whether or not to permanently stay or permanently leave, and I was kind of in a state of limbo. And I was just uh, there was no direct plan. Okay, but yes, no, the highways are scary until you do them. After a while, it's kind of the yeah. practice makes perfect type thing. Yeah. So you get used to them. But I I get it. You just have to. This is something you have to overcome. If I'm gonna live down here, hundred percent. Sure, I, fine, yeah. fair enough. It was your mom paying for it anyway, so whatever. So is she, so you'll be how how is gas going to be afforded up there? Uh, that's going to come from uh, my work probably. Okay, so you are going to work. I'm up planning there. to get caddy jobs. The whole one of the entire three. Isn't it going to be hard with college though? Because you're going to have to block off so much time for college. So so for the so for the summer, where the golf season is like really popping in New York. You're not going to be in school. I'm not going to be in school. What from are we doing April, for April, the April other the fall? What are we doing the other eight months of the year? Seven months of the year. Well, that's going to be school. But the the goal is that. So, so you're Take saving that. up a big chunk? I, I, If I could get a caddy job up there and save that up and pay off my debt, that would be ideal. That would be awesome. We're relying on this caddy job being successful when we're you've relying never had this, a job yes. that has made more relying. than 400 yes. a month from it. It's a lot of relying. Okay. But 400 without living expenses is a big chunk. That's, That's not 400 gonna... directly to debt. Well, I thought we were doing this to save up for gas money. How are we paying for gas money during school years? I Okay. That's... I don't know. I didn't get that far yet. Oh, jeez, buddy. Okay. 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 I mean, problems can be solved that are like three or four months out when I'm home and I have like less mental stress. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with waiting. You know what's going to help with mental stress, though? Not being in debt. <laughs> yes, of course. But actually having a plan, knowing what the plan is, what do we have to accomplish? Sometimes the overwhelming of what you know you have to do is still going to carry stress. But knowing you have a way to get there, yeah. it, other than headed into the unknown fog, 
that can take a lot off of your brain, a lot off of your shoulders, man. So I think what is actually going to be most important for you right now, who 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 do you who can you trust financially, career wise? Yeah. Who's like someone in your corner that you can trust to have a good conversation with? So do you have someone that is that trusted person that is knowledgeable that you can sit down with? Yeah, I, I. What do you mean knowledgeable? Just about my life or about uh, just about careers? Uh, just you know, and good and. Good in terms of like they'll give good advice for your life, for your career, for your money. I I actually might have a call. I have a couple people in mind. Um, I'd have to sit down with them, give them your situation because this is going to take much longer, much longer than any time that we have right now. But these are the things that I want to accomplish. Here's my overarching plan of where I want to hit. Can we take all of this and construct it into an A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Yeah. Like, where does it go? Because I think that's what's going to be most productive to you. At some point, these credit cards are going to be it, some letter in that plan. Yeah. What you need to do is sit down for a few hours with someone over a meal or just whatever and just try to construct what do we do from here, in what order, what are we trying to attack. And I think if you're able to do that, one – Sure, it might cause stresses in different ways. At least it's not headed into the unknown. You know what you have to do in order to accomplish something that gets you to the next place. That's going to be what's most important for you because right now, again, you started towards the beginning of the conversation. I could end up in Dallas. I could end up doing this. I could be a caddy. I could be uh, security. We need to narrow down a little more, and I think that's what's going to be most important. So Hmm. I know it's difficult, but uh, I think – Hopefully, this is at least a wake-up call in terms of your finances and where your actions are. And the, the and finances and actions, I, I 100% agree. I think it's more of a wake-up call and, like, so what... Like, like the big thing that really resonated with me was you saying, so, so you just give up buying groceries because you haven't had success in the past. And that, like, it's... Even with your finances, it still makes sense to try, even if it's not succeeding, to try to go down the right path. Despite... Nah, okay. you know. Good. Hammer financial score. Uh, get yours for free in the description below. Spending in a budget, 0 out of 10, because you're putting it on a credit card because you don't have enough, so just you can't get a point there. Debt, not the worst of the worst. I'd say 3 out of 10. Merchants fund, just a little, so 1 out of 10. Retirement, nothing, 0 out of 10. Real estate, nothing, 0 out of 10. Uh, Hammer financial score. Should be easy math, right? Yeah, 1 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. Man, what scares me about you? You go into so many things uninformed. Yeah. You're just you're just like, fuck it. I'm I, jumping in. I, I do kind of jump in and then swim, and that's just, I, I thrive in chaos. Uh, sometimes I don't thrive. Sometimes yeah, it blows Yeah, but you up. also have a lot of ADHD issues, yeah. and I don't think chaos is going to help that. Yeah. To watch the financial audit post show, click the join button below.